So I'm going to start with this in just a minute. I know it's already live, but I'm trying to like adjust this somehow to where you can kind of, I don't know, see more what I'm doing other than, um, I don't know, the top of my head. I'm pretty sure nobody just wants to watch the top of my head. See all my gray hairs. So I'm just adjusting this really quick. And then, as soon as I get it just slightly adjusted, um, we'll go ahead and um, we'll go ahead and start. I'll just have to be mindful of what you guys can see. Oops, and it's 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 moving somewhere. I don't have this as tight as it needs to be. So if it falls all the way down. Um, let me know. I'm trying to, to get it adjusted and I'm like putting my thing like right on the edge. So, oh Lord, help us if it falls. Maybe if I put something like that, or so extra heavy, it won't fall. But then again, I don't know if you guys can see me or not. I'm going to go on another device really quick. Can you guys see me at all? I'm going to turn on another device really quick just so I can see if I can... See me, usually I don't craft over here. Usually I craft over at my table. But um, since nobody, oh, I can see me, okay. Oh, you get like a straight on view of my gray hairs. I need to be a little bit taller or move that up just a little bit more. Is this okay though? I think it's okay. I'm trying to see what you guys can see. Okay, let me just get this situated really quick. Let's turn this stuff out of the way and then we will get crazy. Give me one minute. One minute. sticking it's hanging on by the skin of its teeth and if you knock it over it's gonna fall everywhere okay mommy's doing a video it's already on so say hello because they can hello. see hello all right here you go thank you be very careful with those okay I love, you. love you too bye guys okay all right I'm gonna go ahead and get started on this so what I wanted to do if you guys can see me Disregard the top of my gray hair. I'm gonna put this right here so if there's any comments, maybe I can see them, maybe I cannot. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Um, so hopefully it'll work. So a little while ago, I'm doing a video, what do you need? Nothing. Um, we did this one. And usually what I do, I mean, this was one of the series of the Merry Little Christmas series. And so what I do is I always do like a holiday one on like one side of my surface. And then on the other side of it, I always flip it over and do like an everyday design on the back side so I can, um, cause I'm lazy like that. So what I do is when it's time to decorate, I'll just take my everyday sign and I'll just be like, bloop, voila, decorated, yay. So um, today we're gonna do this side of the design. 
And I have two transfers that I'm thinking about using. And then if I have enough time, um, I have to go pick up my daughter from work at seven. She's 16 and she just got her first job. Yay! Um, but she doesn't drive yet, so I have to go pick her up. Um, so if we have enough time, this one's gonna be pretty quick. I thought maybe we would do, um, I have some other pieces of the Build a Snowman one. We did um, the Rainbow Merry Christmas one right here, back here. And we used a lot of the Build a Snowman transfer pieces in that one. And then I used some of the pieces from like the Woodland um, Forest scene. So I thought maybe if we have time, we can, um, kind of dark down here, we can, um, Maybe do a little snowman transfer or something. And I just I just went and I just grabbed like a stack of colors that I had. So these are the colors that we're going to use tonight if we have time to do that. And then um, these were just some other colors. I just randomly stack colors to see if I like the color combination. And then if I do, that's what I decide to craft with. So tonight I have mint green, garden herb, current jam, and then this is um, storm gray. So these are the colors that I'm going to use for my everyday sign. And um, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing, this is our box frame, and this is the side that you usually craft on, and I like craft it on the back side of it for this one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this side. So what I'm going to do, I haven't quite decided, I'm going to go ahead and take this ribbon off just so it's out of the way. Um, and I have two transfers. These are both transfers of the month. This is the November transfer of the month. This one is currently available now. Um, and I thought about using this one, or I thought about going ahead and showing you guys, this is December's transfer of the month. This one is not ready, gonna be available to the public until December 1st. But if you decide, you know what, I love that transfer and I have to have it, I am taking pre-orders for this transfer, but you got to go into the VIP um, to get in on that deal. And when I do pre-orders, I always, always, always do a super amazing price on the pre-orders. So if you want this transfer, go to the VIP and um, you'll see a post there. After I'm done with the live, I'll go over there and do the post for the pre-order. If you want the December um, Home and Wreath Club transfer, it's not available until December 1st. Um, as a designer, we always get like a super um, fancy transfer a month before it's like available to the public and this is the December one. So this is what I was going to do. I thought about maybe even incorporating both of them, um, but for right now we'll just do this one. This is the home and it's the wreath. So I'm just going to pull it out of my sleeve and I say these and um, if you buy a transfer, the directions are always on the back. So if you ever see a, um, a designer doing something with their transfer and you think, I am never gonna remember that, the directions are always on a sticker on the back. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with my transfer and I'm gonna hold it up so you guys can see it. They come with the cut lines, the suggested cut lines. Um, if you're working with a really big transfer, you can always cut it down smaller if you need to. Um, whenever I work with like my really giant transfers, I always cut them down. Um, a little bit smaller, just makes them easier to use. So I'm just cutting this out on the suggested cut lines. And what's really cool about um, these transfers is uh, they are reusable, they're silk screen and they have an adhesive backing so they are reusable. And um, my sink is right here so too, so when I'm done using this, I'm gonna turn this over just a little bit so you can see how I wash the transfers. But they come, um, Every, every different layer of color that you're gonna use will come with its own layer transfer. So whenever you see transfers or designs where there's like a whole bunch of different colors on there, it's because each color comes with its own layer. And that's what makes these so like easy to use. You know, I'm not trying to like do a little tiny color here and then a little color here and a little color there. This entire piece is gonna be one color. This one's going to be another color, and then this is going to be a color. So it makes it really easy. And then um, if anybody does vinyl work, um, you know how amazing registration marks are. Our transfers come with registration marks at the top. So if you have to um, layer your designs, you've got a registration mark on there. And you're probably thinking, well, how are you going to paint a registration mark? Well, our paints are not permanent unless you want them to be permanent. So I can put my registration mark on my board 
And then all I have to do is just take like a little wet paper towel and just wipe that little triangle off and then it's gone. So these are the pieces of the wreath and what the pieces of the wreath are gonna make up, they're gonna make up the, um, the O in home. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start, I have my cut towel right here and um, what we do with the cut towel is we call what's called fuzzing. Because these transfers are on the back of the silks um, or adhesive, they're really, really sticky. So I'm just gonna peel it off and I always save the backing because after I wash my transfer, I'm gonna stick it right back on that backing. So I'm just gonna stick it on here. See how sticky it is? And think of this as like a sticker. If you put a sticker on a piece of paper and then you try to pull the sticker off, you're either gonna pull paper up with you or in this case, you would pull paint up um, off your surface or you're gonna leave sticker behind, um, which is you can leave some of the adhesive on your, uh, your transfer behind. So what we do is called fuzzing them and it just kind of takes some of the sticky away off of it and don't worry about it because as soon as you wash your transfer, that sticky is gonna come right off. My six year old just tried to scare my two year old and it like made me jump a little bit. So I'm just gonna put it on here. I'm just gonna get it extra fuzzy. Let's see. Okay. And I'm doing the, this is a box frame. This is one of our chalk tour box frames. This was the back side that I did a little while ago. And so today I'm just gonna do um, the front side of it. If you guys have any questions, um, I can, I think I can see them. Um, if not, just send me a PM or a friend request or send out a smoke signal. Stick your thumb up on the side of the road. Okay, so what I did was I got this extra fuzzy, and I'll lift this up so you guys can kind of see the fuzz on the back of my cup towel. You can use your towel, um, you can use your t-shirt. Um, I've even had some that were like extra sticky, so I stuck it on my carpet just to fuzz it. And like I said, as soon as you wash it off, this fuzz will go away. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna stick this on my surface, and I will lift this up so you guys can see. I'm trying to get it straight. We do have placement tape too that helps you um, if you want to put it on like super straight. See, I just all I did just look kind of like a sticker and just laid it on here. And now for my colors. So I thought with my wreath I was gonna do like these two green colors and like the little like berry flowers on it. This current jam. It's not. It's kind of like a, a mauve color. So it's not really Christmassy, it can really be an everyday design. And then I think I'm gonna do my home in gray. So these are the colors that I'm thinking about using. We have a darker gray. Maybe I'll go get my darker gray. Let me go see if I can run and grab my darker gray really quick. This one is called Storm, so it's kind of like a lightish gray color. This one might work with these. I don't know, what do you guys think? Should I stick with the lighter gray? Or should I go with a darker gray? I don't know. It's always like a science fair project when I do this. You know what, this is the color that I have out here. So this is the color that I'll use. Or maybe I'll use brown. I don't know. Do we like brown? Yay, nay, no brown. This is like a dark brown. This is a chocolate brown. But then I also have um, this mocha brown. I don't know. Maybe not brown, but let's just stick with gray. My original plan was gray. I just need to stick with what I had. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna open up my gray paste and um, it hasn't been used in a while. So I'm just gonna use my little tool here and it makes this nasty like slimy sound when you mix it up. But I'm just gonna mix it up. And you want your chalk paste to be like a yogurt consistency. And if it's not a yogurt consistency, you just need to add a pinch of water to it and just mix it up until you get it to the consistency that you want. Um, chalk is a naturally hard um, sub um, substance, so chalk has a propensity to, um, to harden. It's not a, a defect in your products. What are you doing, buddy? What are you doing? Hey, no. Ah, nope, you can't open the counters right now. Heck. You're gonna have to wait. You're gonna have to wait until I'm done. No, sir. No, sir. Put that down. Here, you can get a drink of my cup. You need a sip? You need a sip? Careful, don't spill. Okay, so I'm using storage.
storm gray. And I'm just gonna put a little bit of paste on my squeegee. You can put your paste on your directly onto your transfer or you can put it on your squeegee. I put it on squeegee because it's it's just a habit. And you don't have to worry about you know putting too much paste on there because if you have extra, you can always scrape it back up and um, thank you, stick it back into your um, container. So, so I'm just gonna put it on here. And then I lift it up so you guys can see. Oh, those are lilies. Those are lilies. No. I don't care. Put it back. I don't care. Put it back. There. I don't care. Put it back. I guess it's gonna be gross. Those are lilies, and you guys cannot have them. When she gets home from work, you may ask her if you can have those. So I'm just gonna scrape this back up. And then, yeah, that's my Lila May. She's my baby number six. She is the grand finale. I don't care. Of my family. And every time I go live, my kids use that as an opportunity. They're like, oh, mom's busy. Let's get into what we can't get into. No. I'm turning it on. No. No, you're not turning it on at all. We were like playing, and then I came up here and said, like, welcome to my circus. Stop. Get Shoo. They were playing so quietly downstairs, and I was like, oh, what a perfect time. Oh my gosh, I just turned around, and I, I'm in my pajamas. So I apologize if you can see um, my not-so-pretty backside. Okay, so here's what I did. I just covered it, my silkscreen area in the... Um, I'm hiding behind this because I just totally embarrassed myself. So I'm hiding but um, I painted this gray, and I just covered my silkscreen areas. That's all I did. And then you can just take your squeegee and just go over and just um, peel the excess off. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take it from the corner and I'm just going to peel it up. Turn it this way so you guys can see. I'm just going to peel it over. See, I'm just going to peel it right on up. See how easy that was? Does any of your kids play Fortnite? Right? I was doing. Can you comment? What? No, my. We're not talking about Fortnite. No. I was doing a, a live once, and I don't know what possessed my child to do this, but my um, my ten year old thought it would be funny to like put on a diaper and like come dance behind me, and then my uh, my four year old just. You know what? I'm going to get naked and I'm going to come dance behind you. And I was like, what are you guys doing? You know, that was one of those videos that like I immediately had to like, like throw a towel over it and like turn it off because I was just like, really? Really? But I mean, anybody who watches my lives, it's always a circus. I always have at least two kids running around and I currently have one hiding in the cabinet right here. So, but here's our home so far on our board. See how, see how it looks? I'm trying to get it to where you guys can see like the sharpness of it. And I have my blow dryer here right here. I usually don't like to use my blow dryer because I think it's just kind of obnoxious. But I want this to dry quick so we can keep moving. So I'm just going to hit this really quick. chalk paste it dries really fast so I mean and it dries hard too so this is I just hit it really quick with a blow dryer if I didn't touch it with the blow dryer within like five minutes this would have been like dry but see I mean it dries hard and it's not gonna just wipe off if you want to take this off you're gonna have to use um, a magic eraser 
and it'll, it'll, you can use a regular sponge and some warm water to wash it off, but it might have what we call ghosting, where it leaves like a little bit of like a shadow of the color behind. So then you just use a magic eraser and just go right over it and it'll take the rest of this color right on off. So that's our home. So now we're gonna work on, um, on our wreath. And it has the arrows on it, so it shows me like what needs to go, um, what piece needs to go up first. Or point it up. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put this on here. I'm gonna go ahead and put all of my pieces on here to front. And again, I save the back pieces because after you wash your transfers, please do not lock her in the cabinet. He's throwing a candy in the back of like, we have an empty cabinet down here. So he's throwing a piece of candy in the back of it to get her to go in there because he's trying to walk her in there. Get your legs in there. No. Look, I don't want her crying while I'm doing my video. So if you're gonna be mean to her, you're not gonna play that way. So here I did, all I did was I put the three pieces of my wreath on here to, um, so I can go ahead and fuzz those. Just putting it on, peeling it up, putting it on, peeling it up. And also, if you're doing um, layers where you're going to be um, putting your transfer on a where there's already chalk paste, you also want to make sure it's really good and um, fuzzy too, just so you don't accidentally pull up some of your paste that you already have down. Because that can happen um, if you forget to fuzz your transfer because it's extra, extra sticky. Lila May, she just turned two. She turned two September 30th. Yeah, she's a little princess. Okay, so I'm just going to stick this on here. Pam? What? You better not be being mean, silly. I'm trying to see if. I don't know. I think it's kind of even. Maybe not. I think it's more towards my H than it is my O. I'm just going to eyeball it. We'll just call it good. So here's the wreath. Thank you. She has four older brothers. So she was like... She was like, woohoo, finally. My oldest is a girl, and then I have four boys, and then I have her. So when we finally had her, it was like, hallelujah. I can finally have some more pink in my life. Okay, so what I did was I put my wreath down. This layer number one of my wreath. Down. And put this color, the base of my wreath. I'm going to use Garden Herb. Hey, what are you playing with? No, I don't want you guys throwing too. Look, I'm trying to do my video. It would be nice if you guys would go play. Sorry, I just totally like stuck my head. Go. Go over there and play. Go play. Sorry, I didn't mean to like totally show you guys my butt again. Opened, which is why it has this. I'm just gonna peel this off. Liam, go play over there. You don't have to play right underneath my feet right here. Jeez, look, Pete. We have this whole house and they're like stuck right here next to me. So I'm just going to take my squeegee and I'm just going to mix up my color. My pigments were just a slightly separated in here, so I'm just going to, you okay? Stop. I'm just going to put a little bit of paste on my squeegee. And I'm just going to cover... Cover my silk screen area. <laughs> I'm 
There we go. See, I just covered it. And then I'm going to scrape my excess. I'm just going to stick it back in here. I'm here because you can save your excess. I'm just sticking my dirties over there and put my lid back over here. And then I'm going to peel this up. And when I'm ready to wash this, I'll show you guys how I wash it. Wipe my hands on my apron. So I'm just going to pull it down. And you want to pull like top to bottom. You don't want to pull diagonal because if you pull diagonally, you can um, stretch your silk screen on your transfer. And then it, um, it makes it very difficult to use. So I'm just going to stick this over here. I'm just sticking these on the side of my, um, my sink until I'm ready to uh, wash it. I'm just going to hit it with a blow dryer so it dries quick. to be um, more full, you can always pick your transfer. <laughs> you want to let this dry first, but you can always like lay your transfer back down on here immediately and add some more on there. So if you want this to be a little bit fuller, you can do that. <laughs> Let's make sure it's dry. I think it's dry. Yeah. Okay. Last time. Last time. Okay, so I'm gonna pick this one up right here and I'm just refuzzing the second piece of this transfer. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and like lay this on here. And I'm about to be like that mom in like just a minute. I should have done the registration mark on here, but I just didn't. That's okay. I'm just layering this on here. I'm trying to eyeball like where this one's supposed to be. I should have done the registration marks. didn't but that's okay so I just kind of eyeballed where I think this piece of the transfer should go because I didn't do the registration mark at the top and I think it's still gonna look still gonna look okay and then for this one I'm just doing a slightly different lighter green and this one's called mint green Again, I have, I have like a whole cup here full of like my squeegees and, um, like a full size squeegee looks like this and they're like silicone <laughs> so I just cut mine down to um, like smaller like easier pieces to use it looks like if you're working in like a really yeah. tiny little space sometimes it's just so much easier to use like a little tiny squeegee than a big giant one so I'm just mixing up my paste because I haven't used this one in a while and then I'm just gonna put it on my squeegee and I'm gonna just cover my silk screen areas you just want to make sure your silk screen areas are really covered. You don't need a ton of chalk paste on it, just enough to cover the transfer. I'm going to put my excess back in here because we don't waste our paste. We can always use it. And these right here, um, this one, Pam, this, it's, a, it's, a, it's a chalk couture box frame. It's one of our box frames. It's the front, and the it's wood. It's not it's not um, canvas. It's actually like wood. You see, because I did this one on the back, and then this is the front. And then I'm just gonna pull this off. What, baby? You got dirty hands? My drink? 
I think it needs a little bit more. So I'm going to take the color that I just did and I'm just gonna slightly turn it a little bit to um, where I was working and I'm just gonna add a little bit more color to it. I'm gonna open my thing back up, get my little squeegee. Please don't tease her. And I'm just gonna, because I'm using the same color, I'm not washing my transfer in between. If you were gonna put a different color on here, you would wanna rinse your transfer off in between. Stick it over there, and I'm just gonna peel it right back off. And I totally got the clump of this on my, um, on my, my board. So I'm just gonna use my washcloth. It's just a little bit wet right here. And I'm just gonna wipe off right here where I have build some paint on there. So I'm just gonna let this dry really quick and then we will do our berries. Texas um, my and he took he and the 15 year old and the um, the four-year-old on a weekend trip in Texas and my kids always get so excited because when dad's gone they know that they get a they get to sleep in the bed with me tonight and oh Liam has been waiting for so long to sleep in the middle so I'm going to use that to my advantage you want to sleep in my bed and take up my space? Okay, so I just buzzed this and this is just the final piece to the wreath. And this is just like little, I guess berries is what you want to call them. I don't know what you want to call them. I call them berries. They could be flowers. They could be whatever you want them to be. They can be whatever you want them to be. And for this one, I'm just going to use uh, my current jam. Take my squeegee, I'm going to mix it up. See how you can see how this one hasn't been used in a while? You can kind of see how like the pigments have separated a little bit in your paste. So you just take your squeegee and just mix it up. And then it'll get back to like the really pretty color that it's supposed to be. I'm just going to put a little bit on my squeegee because there's not really a whole lot of berries here. When I'm done, we have to go pick up Lily from work. Can I get McDonald's here? We'll see. Only if you guys go play downstairs until it's time to go. <laughs> go play downstairs. So I'm just going to scrape my excess off. Yeah. And wipe my hands on here and I'll lift it up so you guys can see. So you just cover the entire, the entire transfer. Each color has its own layer which makes it super easy. And then I'm just gonna peel it off. I'm gonna stick it over here on the side of my sink where it needs to be washed. And there we go, it says home. And the reason why I did mine lower down on my transfer is um, if you guys remember from the very beginning when like we first started, is I had this ribbon right here. I'm gonna have to like totally retie it, but I had this ribbon that I had um, on the front part 
And so I did it kind of low down here so that I could use the same ribbon on, um, I wonder if it's gonna be too long. It's probably gonna be way too long. That's okay. We'll make it work. So I can use the same ribbon on here on the front side of it. You know, I can either put my ribbon, let's see, how does the, the back side? Okay, so the back side, I have my ribbon like this. And I think, I remember, I mean, you don't have to do it this way. This was just, I'm just trying to show you how I use the same piece to do, you know, one craft. Yeah, okay, so it was originally like this. Over here, and then I have like my bow is like tied right here, so I kind of have like this like a little bit of a present down here. But then I wanted to be able to use the same ribbon on here, so I am not a bow maker, so trying to like make this look like a pretty bow is not um, it is not my specialty. So when you look at this and think, oh my gosh, learn how to tie. Yeah. I'm gonna put it like that just right now, just so I can kind of bring it back over here a little bit. You know, it's not the prettiest, but you know, just for the sake of just showing you guys really quick. No, that's cool, baby. I'll get you a drink in just a minute. You know, I mean, if you have like better boat, obviously, you know, I'm not a good bow maker, but this will just give you just kind of like a little idea as to how you can use like the same ribbon that I was using on the back side to turn around and just like make something on the front side. You know, I probably need like a better ribbon. For the home, I used um, Storm Gray. I used Storm Gray and then for my wreath, I used Garden Curb, Mint Green, and then um, Current jam. You know, but I mean, you could leave it like this, or if you don't like the whole ribbon bow situation, you can, um, you know, you can mix and match transfers too. You could move the home to where it was like in the middle of your design if you wanted to. You could move it up to the top, and then you could add pictures down below. Um, you could use a smaller frame. This is just one that I, I had that was blank that I needed to use, so I wanted to go ahead and use it um, on here. Or, um, here, you can um, yeah. you can mix and match your transfers in between um, to make, like I could take the welcome off of this one if I wanted to, and I could add oh. like, yeah. maybe I'll do that. You know what, we'll go ahead and do that just so I can show you. Um, how we can like, mix two separate transfers to make one sign. And um, usually what, what I do is I buy like one or two transfers a month. Sometimes I'll buy three, but I usually just stick to like one or two a month. And then I'll get like a couple of, um, I'll get like two, two pace a month. And that's how I slowly have like built up my inventory. And once you build up your inventory, then it makes it so much easier to to mix and match. So I'm just gonna cut the, no ma'am. What are you looking for? What are you looking for? There's nothing up here right now. Usually I let her help me. So she wants up here. Where'd brother go? Where'd he go? Where is he? So this, this one is available right now. This is our November Club Couture transfer. This one is available. So I'm just taking the welcome off of that one and I'm gonna stick it on the top of this board. So I'm gonna move this up here just a little bit. What are you doing, princess? There's nothing up here. Go ahead and cut my little extra piece off. And then um, I'm gonna, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put the corner of this just so it makes it easier for me when I go to put it back on here. Liam, she is looking for you. Where is he at? Michaela? Is he hiding from you? No. No? Yeah. 
So I'm just fuzzing my transfer really good. And then I'm just gonna stick it on here. I'm gonna make sure it's extra fuzzy. I forgot to fuzz uh, one of my transfers and I was doing a um, candy. I was doing a stainless steel um, little jug and I totally forgot to, uh... Uh, 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 Mom. what? Uh, why don't you sit right here? Sit down so you don't fall. You have to sit. You have to sit. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, you have to sit. And it left all, all kinds of like green sticky on the back of my, uh, my thing. So I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add my welcome. I'm just gonna do a little bit over here, just so I still have room to put a bow on the side. And this is just my personal preference. You can do it any which way you want. But I just like to do it this way so that I can um, still put something on over here. So, so all I did was, you better put my scissors down. You better put my scissors down. Yeah. Thank you. What? That's daddy. You can't have that. Is he in there? Yeah. Are you gonna hide in there? Okay, hide in the cabinet. Then I'm using the current jam. I'm just gonna take my squeegee that I already used. And then I'm just gonna put a little bit on here. Again, you can put it on your squeegee. You can put it directly on here. Uh, for me, it's just habit to use my yeah. squeegee. So I'm just covering my silk screen area. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back through. What? And I'm just going to scrape my excess off and I'm just going to stick it back in here. Hold on, mommy's almost done. Yeah, I might have to come back and do my winter wonderland scene after you go to bed. Yeah? Okay, so I'm going to put my lid back on here and I'm going to go a little bit quicker because I think her patience with me is running out. See, I just covered my... Faker. You're a faker. Yeah? See how I just co completely covered it? And then I'm just going to take it from the side. And then I'm just going to peel it right up. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> yeah, whoa! Whoa! And then I'm going to turn it around. doesn't make you dizzy trying to look at this. But see how like crisp those lines are and see how pretty it is? I didn't realize how dark it was in here. Or maybe it's just the device I'm using looks really dark. But isn't that super pretty? And I will, I'll post the finished picture of this in the VIP too. Um, again, the home transfer, this is our December transfer, so it's not available yet, but I am doing pre-orders for it. And I'm gonna do pre-orders for it at amazing, 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 amazing price. So November 1st, when it becomes available, I will go ahead and make the order for that. And then when I do pre-orders too, I will make a, um, I'll make a little combination dealio too. So if you wanna get the chalk color paste that I use for this, you can, or you can pick whatever, whatever um, colors that you want to use. You can use one color. I used, I used four colors total on this. So if, if you're interested, what? I'm not ready to use that one yet. Um, if this is something that you would be interested in, just head over to the VIP and um, just give me a little bit and I will post on there um, a special for, we'll make this we'll make this one of our videos. You can either get just the transfer or you can get the transfer, the frame, and um, four chalk colors if you want four. Let me just hit this with the blow dryer. Careful, careful, careful. 
careful. And so here we have it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip this over and I'm gonna show you guys how I wash my transfers. Again, I'm gonna use my cup towel because um, when you dry your transfers, um, when you wash them, I'm just cleaning up my mess a little bit really quick. Uh, when you, no baby, there's nothing on there. When you dry your transfers, you wanna dry them sticky side up because when you wash them, the sticky is gonna go away but then as soon as they dry, the sticky is going to come right back up. So I'm just going to try to, hold on, attempt to, uh, uh, hold on. Be careful. You guys can see. Um, I probably should have cleaned like this part of my house before I turn this. Hold on. Hold on. What are you doing? What do you want? Get it. You are really impeding on this crab cake tonight. You want a yogurt? You want cheese? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. out string cheese. This child does not eat string cheese, but that's what she just picked out for her snack. And if it'll keep her happy for just a few seconds, then by golly, she's going to have string cheese. Okay, so I'm going to turn this. Can I open it? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. And then go find brother, because we got to go pick up Lily. You want to go get baby? No. No? Okay. Okay, so I'm going to turn this slightly. I'm going to try at least. So you guys can see my sink, and um, I'm waiting for my camera to catch up so I can show you how I have this. Okay, there's my sink. And what I've done is I have just put my transfers, um, as I use them, I just stick them on the side of my sink right here and until I'm ready to, to wash them. And it's gonna get kind of loud in here because I'm gonna turn on my water, but that's okay. And then my squeegees are right here too. You don't need hot water. You don't even need to use soap. You can just use warm water. So I have, I have this little thing right here. No, we're not taking a bath in the sink that I, I have at the bottom of my sink. And that's just because um, I can't count how many times I've lost squeegees down the bottom. Just so, all right. so all I'm doing is I'm just putting them under the water. I mean, it was like more cool than it was warm. And I just washed it off and it's wet. And I'm just gonna lay it on my cup towel, sticky side up. And you can fill your sink up with water to wash your transfers too. But you don't wanna let your transfers soak. You don't wanna soak them. So don't put them in the water until you're ready to, um, until you're actually ready to, to wash them. Just because if you soak it, sometimes it just, um, it just, lengthens or shortens the life of your transfer. So I mean sometimes I'll even put mine on the side and just like turn my sprayer high and just spray it.
you don't get all of the color off, you just really want to make sure that you get it off of the silk turn area. I'm going to keep cleaning this one out. A little bit of warm water, and I'm just going to use my magic eraser to take this extra color off of it. circular sponges are like two bucks and it just takes the, the colors right off and then I'm just going to lay it down sticky side up and then I'm going to go on to my next one and I'm just going to put all three of these in here now I'm just putting them in my sink just spraying them with my water rub my magic eraser over the front of it to get like the stain color off and then also the back so it takes all of the extra um, the fuzz off of it. Are you talking to me? No. Oh. Um, yeah, these are currently only available in the, um, the VIP. You can use um, each transfer. You can get, depending on how well you care for it, you can get... Um, generally about 10 to 12 uses out of it and then um, it starts to lose the sticky on the back side of it and then once it loses the sticky um, you can still use them there's a um, little tricks of the trade that we use to continue um, you can get a medium tapped um, sticky spray and you can just you can spray the back of them so you can reuse it again you just you have to make sure you buzz it extra extra well but generally, we get about 10 to 12 uses out of each each one. So it's really cool because you can, if there's a design that you really like, you know, you can make one for you, you can make one for your friend, you can make one as a gift, you know. Um, we have a lot of ladies that, um, they don't, I sell the supplies, so we have a lot of ladies that don't sell the supplies. They sell their finished designs, and um, so that's what they do. And it's really cool because you can, you know, I mean, you guys saw the colors that I used to make this, but, you know, all you got to do is just switch up your colors, and then you've got, even though it's the same transfer, it's like completely different design. You know, it looks like a completely different sign. It's not a different design. Thank 
it off. I'm gonna lay it on my cup towel, sticky side up. And then the, um, the squeegees you can use indefinitely because they're just like a little rubber uh, silicone piece, I guess. And you can even run through the dishwasher if you wanted to. Washing it off. Off the backside on. And like I said, if you are um, going to layer your design and you need to use it the same like piece multiple times, you just rinse it off and you can try it really quick with the blow dryer until they dry. And so now I'm just gonna. Ouch! No, wait, my sink just. Ouch! Our sink here it goes from like. Super like scalding with like hot to like freezing cold. There's just like no in between. So I'm just gonna wash the paint off in here. And the paint's non-toxic as well, so um, if you guys go through and see some of like my older videos, you'll see. I mean Lila May was helping me when she was like one. You know, and it was just one of those things I wasn't worried about non-toxic, so if she eats it, it's not gonna taste very good, but not going to hurt. Okay, so I'll just lay these here to dry, and then I'll turn this back over this way so you guys can, can see. So I just have them all laying right here, sticky side up, to dry. And then as soon as they're completely dry, I will put them back on the backing that I peeled them off on, and then I just stick them back in the envelope until the next time I'm ready to use them. So, yeah, we're growing. Oh no, something happened and my video just shut off. So I don't know if you guys can still see me or if it's just my device over here. It's just your device, it says red. I can see the red light. Oh, the okay, I guess it's about to shut off then. Mm -hmm. Oh, well I guess it is still on. Okay, so I don't know mm -hmm. why my other device shut off so you guys can still see me. So, um, then I have to, I have to go pick up my daughter from work, so I'm going to have to um, go anyways. But if there's any additional questions, um, you guys can continue to ask. I will continue to follow up. You can send me a PM, um, a friend request, um, join the VIP. I do have a deal posted in there right now, a weekly deal posted in there right now. And then um, as soon as I'm done with this one I will go in there and we will post a um, this is a pre-order transfer one of them is not this one is so I'm going to do a pre-order transfer for the home and um, I'll do it in a we'll do a daily deal with it or we'll do a weekly deal so if you just want the transfer you don't have to you don't have to buy the entire kit if you don't want it but um, when I do the deals I always do them at a a very um awesome price. So anyways, thank you guys for joining me and my circus. And um, yeah, so like I said, if you guys have any questions or anything like that, send me a message. Thanks guys.